Chicago. Another example of being told that we should unite blue and support and not primary and just, just back up all of these people when in the city of Chicago, Chicago is gearing up to pay $6 million to the families of two men who died after being arrested. No big surprise there. But did you know that just in the last, since 2004, Chicago has paid more than $500 million to settle police misconduct cases, many of them involving uh, the deaths of people who have been arrested or in police custody. $500 million. In the midst of schools being closed all over the city of Chicago, in the midst of blight, in the midst of gang violence, you have the city of Chicago taking $500 million of taxpayer money and putting it to settle cases, and very few people, if any, have been arrested or charged. Just recently in the Laquan McDonald case, you did have an officer who was charged with murder, but that's because the tape came out and they could not hide and suppress the tape because your good friend, our good friend, Rahm Emanuel, realized that if that tape came out before the election, he would not be the mayor of Chicago right now. But, but, but are we ever going to get leaders in the Democratic Party? to call out this cesspool of criminal activity in the city of Chicago being headed up by their ace boon coon Rahm Emanuel? No, you know why? Because we can't criticize other Democrats. We can't cross anybody in the establishment. We have to protect the establishment above all else. There's no way in the world Obama is going to call out Rahm Emanuel, even though Rahm Emanuel is presiding over this type of activity. Rahm Emanuel, participated in the cover-up or the suppression rather let's use the the proper word he helped suppress the release of the video until after the election hillary clinton still has confidence in rahm emanuel and so you have philip coleman who was subdued inside a police precinct tased inside the police precinct being killed by police officers, his family and his estate is getting ready to receive um, $4.95 million. The one that really bothers me the most about out of these two cases is Justin Cook, who died after being uh, chased down by the police. He was running from the police, yes. He got caught by the police, yes. He had an asthma attack, and he asked the police, can I take my asthma? Can I get my pump? It's in my pocket. Can I get my pump? Police claim that they gave it to him. Eyewitnesses said that's not true. Not only did the police not give it to him, but you had several eyewitnesses who said the police taunted him, taunted him with his asthma pump. Justin Cook later on died. But we're not supposed to question or challenge or expect our leaders to question and put these people in their places because they're Democrats. $500 million later, school closings, all of these controversies later, and we can't get a high level Democrat to tell Rahm Emanuel to resign. One last example. If I can find it, I might have to do this one from memory. Terry McCullough of Virginia. Yep, I'm going to have to do it from memory. I can't find it. Terry McCullough from, um, oh, yeah, thank you. I forgot about this one uh, back in Chicago. Um, the black site where, where police, people in police custody in Chicago went and disappeared. They had their own, they had their own black site for rendition and interrogation. But we can't get anybody. We can't get old my boy Barack Obama, who I am a fan of and still would want to shake his hand today because I'm a fanboy. But I still can't get his ass to tell Rahm Emanuel to resign. And Hillary Clinton still has confidence in him. Anyway, boom. Done with that one.